have the very special pleasure to meet a very busy guy. We are not in your office here, although, well, probably we'll, we wouldn't want to be here every day. A great welcome, a warm welcome, Sebastian, Head of Sales. Hi Sven, glad to be here. These days, end of the year 2021, are very busy ones for you and for your colleagues, for the whole team. We have seen a very special year, 2021, and so we want to summarize it a little bit and, mm -hmm. and look where we stand. Without a doubt, Sven, uh, the, the entire industry has breathed uh, a sigh of relief and currently, and so do we, enjoying large order intakes, large mm -hmm. growth rates, uh, which is very good for us. Uh, that does not mean that we are now leaning back and uh, just enjoying it. So um, I'm very happy to, to announce that we have increased our sales network globally. Mm -hmm. So China, India, Brazil, just to name a few. Uh, and yeah, all in all, I have to say a very positive 2021 uh, with an extremely good outlook for 2022. Mm -hmm. So we are going high paced, fully loaded, <laughs> and we hope to maintain this throughout the next years. Speed is the appropriate word. Um, we are having not only a lot of things to do in OEM, but speed is also what is happening in stock optics right now. That's correct. So we do indeed have a very superior offering uh, on our stock optics. Stock optics is what we call our stock S-spheres, mm -hmm. A-cylinders, Exicons, which can be ordered within 24 hours off the shelf mm -hmm. from our web shop. And, uh, but that's by far not everything we can offer. So wh what we did is an ultra update. Uh, we have recently introduced to these stock optics S-spheres. Um, so you can now um, reach an RMSI of less than 100 nanometers with the ultra quality. Mm -hmm. Besides the precision quality uh, we have in general. Mm -hmm. Meaning that you're reaching um, wavefront error of about 50 nanometers for those. That's correct. So just in case you want to be a little bit more precise, <laughs> as Fericon is ready for so it. So we ex can expect there, guessing a little bit, around 50 um, nanometers wavefront error. That's correct. The Fericon uses for its stock optics typically SLAH64 and BK7. But there is something more than that. Uh, I think we are talking also about few silica, right? That's right. Uh, already last year, we have started restructuring our few silica portfolio uh -huh. uh, in regards to diameter, focal length combination, and uh, the design wavelengths, which is now set to 355 nanometers. Mm -hmm. So perfect for all UV high power laser applications. Wonderful. So meaning in the past we had a few optical designs there, let's say mm -hmm. around five. Now we're looking at something like 10 to 15. That's correct. So uh, that's uh, a third quality level we have introduced besides mm -hmm. two others. Mm -hmm. So we have the precision, less mm -hmm. than 500 nanometers RMSI, then we have ultra, less than 300 nanometers yeah. and beam tuning, diffraction limited mm -hmm. with a wavefront RMF, uh, RMS of less than 10 nanometers. Wow. That's, that's a lot. So meaning we have a really broad spectrum of uh, optical designs now, smaller ones, bigger ones, mm -hmm. higher or lower in A. Mm -hmm. And they are working even diffraction limited for all the wavelengths from 355 to 1600. That's it, correct. And in addition then, um, when I do a little math, the 10 nanometers is not only a shrill of 0 0.8, which is the common diffraction limited, it is going much beyond that. It is going to a trail of 0 0.95. So you can even put several of them together and you're still diffraction limited. So this is really absolute high limit. As Farrakhan seems to be showing what they really can do if they want. Just Absolutely. These S-spheres are the ideal combination to our beam tuning yeah. products. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So beam shaping, beam extension. And as you know, uh, and all, as our customers know, mm. these elements are plug and play in perfection. So that means um, we have now uh, optical designs that can serve high power applications and 
very demanding microscopic applications as well from the perspective of the accuracy. But for that we need also a good coating to ensure that really the power goes also at the point. That's absolutely the key and that's why we have uh, introduced uh, V-coatings to our stock optics mm -hmm. S-spheres. Uh, for instance, 355, 532 or 1064 mm -hmm. nanometers. Mm -hmm. so especially for our UV S-spheres we, we, we just talked about, this is the ideal addition mm -hmm. uh, to that. And um, secondly, um, uh, in response to the market demands we have seen throughout the last months, we have been introducing uh, a new IR coating. Uh, mm -hmm. And thanks to our in-house sputtering machine, we are now able to introduce ultra-stable IR coatings up to 5.1 microns. <laughs> So meaning we have lenses that can perform at the absolute limit level. Mm -hmm. It is suitable for microscopy and so on. It is suitable, suitable for high power. It is suitable for infrared. Yeah. I mean, what, what is left for 2022, 20, uh, Sebastian? Just you made it already in 2021? <laughs> or just, just this much. I mean, uh, you can expect a lot, uh, especially in the area of uh, beam shaping. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to tell too much at this point, mm. but you can be sure there will be some more exciting products coming up in the next year. Um, and um, on the other hand, of course, and this is um, our main business, is our customers, uh, our yeah. OEM customers, yeah. which keep handing in nice inquiries and of course demanding inquiries. Yes, and yeah. you know we love the challenge. <laughs> we do, <laughs> we do, for sure we do. And so, well, what else can I say? Thank you to you and to the whole team of Aspherecon for the great 2021. I'm sure we'll finish it in a really great way and we are looking forward to 2022. So again, thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you, see you soon. Mm -hmm.